All right, here's a quick tour of the bike. So starting at the front, these are the, are the wheels. So these are the Marchesini forged wheels, which I powder coated gold and they've been Pantone PMS matched to the Olin's gold. So you'll see when we get to the back, but it's the exact same uh, gold. So it doesn't look like there's funny colors on it. Uh, recently swapped the tires to the Bridgestone S22s. That's what I run on all my bikes. See, there's another bike over here, also running the S22. Uh, paint is immaculate. There isn't a, a single stone chip on it. These are the Showa forks in the front, which have Olin's FPK valves inside them. I had those rebuilt by Pro 6. Uh, headlight has a like a super white bulb inside it. And then there's two running light LEDs um, at the bottom. Uh, fly screen, or I guess instrument gauge cluster. Um, all the carbon on the bike is from Moto Composites and it's the same um, weave of carbon. So you'll see it here on the instrument cover. You'll see it here on the air intakes. Um, you'll see it over here on the key guard. Uh, and you'll see it over here on the rear mudguard, um, all the same carbon so that there's no mismatch. So I should have said uh, over here as well on the uh, radiator guards. Uh, brakes, these are the stock brakes, Brembo M4-32s, steel braided brake lines. Um, other than that, this is the belly pan fairing over here. Uh, oil level over there. The reason it's red is because it's the Motul 7100 full synthetic. Dry clutch um, has this open cover uh, that I put on it. It's just a little bit dusty and that's a Rizoma pressure plate. Um, other than that, these are Duca bike aftermarket footrest. This is a Rizoma heel guard plate uh, and that guard there. Uh, this is the full, I believe it's 90 mil Termignoni um, slash cut exhaust system. Um, I think I have the baffles for it, but this is the full system, not just a slip on. Uh, back wheel has a um, uh, aftermarket CNC racing black um, nut on it. I also have the stock one and obviously lock the bike up to the, uh, to the wall. Uh, let's see what else have we got. This is the Evotech Performance Bracket, Evotech Tail Tidy, Rizoma, Turn Signals Front and Rear. Uh, getting to the top of the bike here. Um, this is a Louis Moto seat cover for the stock Ducati Performance seat, uh, which is kind of like an Alcantara sort of fabric. Getting to the tank, you can sort of see some of the pearlescence here in the paint. Uh, the mirrors here, these are the Rizoma signal mirrors. Uh, so they're small, but you can actually see behind you. But the, the slash cut form factor was selected because the, it fits sort of the angular lines of this bike. Uh, Spider Peak grips, Duca bike, reservoir covers with the carbon inlays. Um, and then you've got your Matrix Pro steering damper over here that has like, I think, 14 levels uh, of adjustability. Um, right now I've got it set at the loosest, but um, you can tighten it up if you're doing some higher speed stuff. Obviously the forks are fully adjustable. You can see fluids are clean. Uh, and that's probably it for this part of the bike. Uh, we'll fire it up. So Street Fighter Racing because the, um, the ECU obviously is the, um, the Ducati Performance one.